1934, Dr. Thurman Fleet said, in order for us to create health, we must treat the body holistically. And that includes the mind, not just the physical body. And he said, the mind thinks in pictures, but who has seen the mind? If I ask you, what is the color of your car? A picture of the color of your car will pop up on the screen of your mind. If I ask you what's the interior of your car, a picture of the interior of your car will pop up in the screen of your mind. If I ask you, how does your refrigerator look like? Is it the picture of the refrigerator will pop up on the screen of your mind? I'll say, are the doors up and down or they're left to right? A picture of the refrigerator will pop up on the screen of your mind. But if I ask you, how does your mind look like? You won't know. Many people confuse the mind with the brain, but the brain is not the mind. The mind is movement. The mind moves through the brain. The brain is electronic switching station that the mind operates through our brain. Okay? So he said, in order to understand the mind, we must have a picture of our mind. And this is what inspired Dr. Thurman Fleet to draw a picture of the mind. He called this the sick person. So I am going to demonstrate how does this mind of ours work. Okay? So he said this is figure represents the mind. The top picture is the mind. The bottom picture is our body. The top picture, top circle is bigger on purpose because the mind has control over our body. Our body is an instrument of our mind. Whatever we think and feel, the body is moving, follows the mind. And he said, our mind, we're going to split it on two sections. The top cup is our conscious mind. And this, the bottom, is our subconscious mind. Our conscious mind is our thinking mind, and our subconscious is our emotional mind. This is our feeling mind. Okay? Now, we're going to erase this. And we're going to put it right up here because the conscious mind is only 5% of our mind capacity. Our subconscious mind occupies 95% of our capacity. So he said we are thinking with our conscious mind with the help of our sensory factors. And then he drew five antennas here because that's how many sensory factors we have. Hearing, taste, touch, see, and smell. Based on what we see, we hear, we receive information, okay? We create thoughts. Those thoughts, what we think, They develop a feeling in our subconscious mind. The subconscious is the feelings, the emotions. So every thought that you have, there is a following feeling inside of your body. And you might not know this because you never pay attention. Because no one is teaching us about this. How would we know? We must understand to know. Negative thoughts produce negative feelings 
in our body. Positive thoughts produce positive feelings in our body based on what we think and what we feel. When the brain thinks, the brain produces a hormone. That hormone, it's a liquid. That liquid is the energy that flows through your spinal cord and gets distributed through all of our body. This is why and that liquid contains a profound information. This is why we say the mind is a movement. It's in every cell of our body. It's not the brain. So based on how we feel, that feeling changes the vibration of our body. Emotion means energy in motion. Energy in motion means moving. So based on how we feel, there's a movement of that energy throughout our body. And our body, it goes into a certain vibration. It vibrates. You put everything in the microscope, everything is moving. We live in a universe of motion. Nothing is still, even though it looks like still, but everything is moving. So that energy changes your vibration and based on it. Feeling is nothing but conscious awareness of the vibration we are in. Conscious awareness of the vibration we are in. So that feeling changes the vibration in our body and based on how we feel, our body moves into action. Okay? The way how you act is what produces your results. So this is the energy you are emitting out and then the universe gives you exactly what you're putting out. It comes and brings conditions, circumstances, people, synchronicities to you. And that changes the results. A lot of people are trying to change their results, but they don't understand. If you want to change the result, you have to go backwards change the thought that produces the feelings and that gives the different results. Make sense? So, our outside world, our results, are just a reflection of what's happening on the inside of us. As within, so without. Does that make sense? Beautiful.